It's easy to stay up to date with all things child care, simply click the subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video. 4 Things You Can Do To Put An End To Sibling Rivalry Sibling rivalry is among the challenges parents face with having more than one kid at home. How often did you have to play referee between your kids when they fight over toys, clothes, and food? It can be very draining and frustrating, to say the least, when you feel like you're trapped in an endless cycle of resentment. This video will help you deal with sibling rivalry properly. Tip number one, acknowledge your child's emotions. While you're celebrating the presence of the newest member of your family, the chances are high that your eldest won't share the same emotions. They'll likely feel resentful about the entire matter and strat sibling rivalry with the newest addition to the family. Even as siblings develop more individualized identities later in life, differences drive competition and conflict. This is common among brothers and sisters raised in the same household yet very different. Rather than harshly dealing with their negative emotions, it would be best to acknowledge their feelings and help them go through it. Gather the family and talk to give everybody a chance to say what they want to say. It's also an opportunity to establish house rules that family members can agree to follow. Tip number two, take the time to bond with your child. With a new baby in the house, your elders may feel as though they've lost an important person in their lives, you. They may feel that you no longer need them. And they may view their sibling as a threat to their relationship with you. Psychologists and researchers today endorse the influence of birth order and age and gender constellations on sibling relationships. Other research shows that parental favoritism negatively affects the mental health of all of the children in the family, either by creating resentment in the less favored children, stress from high parental expectations for the favored child, strained sibling relationships, and other negative consequences. Don't let that distance between you and your child grow. Instead, take the time to assure your child that they still matter a lot to you. And try to bridge the gap between your children by gently allowing them to develop an attachment for each other. Your eldest will most likely feel a bond between them and their new sibling in time. Tip number three, make your child feel included. One of the best ways to make your child feel included is by involving them from the very beginning, from prenatal care to nesting to birth. Help your child feel invested in the whole process and make them feel that they're part of the new baby's life. Older and younger children may have different privileges due to their age. But if children understand that this inequality is because one child is older or has more responsibilities, they will see this as fair. Tip number four, help your child navigate their negative emotions. Parental favoritism is often cited as a source of adult sibling rivalry. It's also common for people to think that a sibling is, or has always been, favored by a parent, even if the rest of the family may not recognize or acknowledge it. While it hurts to be the less favored child, it's human nature for some people to be drawn together for various reasons. One of the most common ways young children manifest challenging behavior is physical aggression. There can be a lot of impulsive hitting and pushing. When these things happen, it is normal for you to feel mad. After all, it is never easy to see a child hurt another child. However, it is essential to respond to these behaviors with understanding and compassion. So, if your eldest starts getting physical, keep in mind that it doesn't necessarily mean they don't like the baby. They may simply be going through a tough time. Of course, that doesn't mean you should just let them hit their sibling. But rather than discipline them in anger, discipline your child with love. You don't need to shame them for what they've done, as this form of reaction would only create more separation between you and your eldest. A final note. Child development experts recommend age spacing to reduce the chances of sibling rivalry and help you meet your children's developmental and emotional needs. So if you're still at that stage where you're thinking about adding a new member to the family, you might want to consider spacing your children at least three years apart. This is because the older child has most likely already developed a more secure attachment and has somehow gained more independence from you. They won't be competing for the exact needs simultaneously, but they'll be close enough to play together all the time. 
Plus, they'll have more chances to build a bond with each other and share the same circle of friends. Hope you got value from this video. Remember to click the subscribe button and hit the bell so